This is a dulcimer diary and now like alert. Let's call it an alert. I thought I'd only done two entries. So today I thought, well, I'll do, you know, dulcimer entry number three. And then I did number four and five. Anyway, I go back and look. I've already done entry number three like two months ago. So now number three is number four. Number four is number five. Number five is number six. Is that right? Anyway, we're just going to leave it. We're just going to let it roll. Hope you're doing well. Bye. Good morning. Welcome to diary number three. Dulcimer diary. And um, I think it's the 2nd of July. I'm not sure because I've been in bed um, for days <laughs> and I know they tell you not to shoot. You're not supposed to shoot yourself when, when the camera's like lower than you because it shows your chin fat, you know, but I've been losing weight on this new COVID diet plan. So I feel like I want to show off my I want to show off my new chin. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, the COVID thing. Whew. It's been rough. I've been playing dulcimer today. And, um... Uh, <laughs> we've all got it. I've been, um, playing a little jazzy kind of thing on the chromatic today it makes me feel nice so um i want you to hear a little bit of it i'm gonna lay down the chords and then play on top of it and we'll talk about it you know let's see uh we're gonna start on um b minor here <laughs> C-sharp diminished to F-sharp here. Back to B minor. E major. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that's the cycle. Now is that dulcimer? <laughs> I don't even worry about that. After you've been sick and you're contemplating your own mortality, are you gonna worry about whether what you're playing on your favorite instrument is really appropriate? No, I don't. I don't worry about that. You I mean you're more likely to think about loved ones and stuff like that. C sharp diminished. whole uh, going through COVID business the last two years <clears throat> um, I learned a lot man I learned a lot about music the last couple of years and I'm thankful for that I still like to experience everything through this little thing right here in a way this is like a little spaceship I can go anywhere I want in this you know and if you're going to be like a spaceship, you got to be like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> you know, that's maybe the one you want to be. You want to be able to, um, you want to be able to go wherever you, wherever you need to go, you know. The chromatic dulcimer is, um, it's so funny how I've spent my whole life afraid of it, you know, afraid of doing it, doing it in front of people. I always talk about this. I know. It's like my, my struggle. My constant thing. The best thing about the regular dulcimer, man, is whew, it's so freeing. You know, the regular diatonic is just, it's the ideal for me. But in between gigs, I like to get in my Millennium Falcon and go wherever I want, you know. The blues, I've been enjoying doing some blues on here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can work a little bit of that up here. Check my tuning. I've been trying to learn about bending strings. And here's the reality, man. Whatever I figure out on chromatic, it just gives me a greater awareness when I come back to the diatonic. I gotta say it, man. I swear, every time I bend a note, I hear somebody going, you might as well play a guitar. And I always think of me saying to him. It's crazy. Like every time I see somebody in a, a little Toyota pickup truck, you might as well get you a big Ford diesel. No, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get that. You might as well play a guitar. It's like, I really love, uh, I, I really love pho. You know what that is? <laughs> you know, it's like Vietnamese beef pho soup. 
you know, you're eating that and somebody's like, you might as well. I don't know. I don't want to waste my time coming up with might as wells for other people. Jerry Rockwell, man, he's got that thing he reminded me about. People say, this is your trip, man. Don't make it my trip. I like that idea. I've been wanting to do stuff like this my whole life. And the last couple of years, I've gotten a chance to try it out. Let's try that again, do a little better this time. I can make up the lyrics, I always try. But apparently I'm not the guy. I wonder if, maybe if, I tried more. The only time I can get it done is when I wing it. It's a lot more fun. It doesn't rhyme. What are you gonna do? Can't do it all. Still having a ball. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
You know, musically, this thing's better than a guitar. It is. No, it really is. The um, the truth is, it's a blast to play this chromatic dulcimer. I love it. I love it. And I love the regular one, too. And I'm always going to be conflicted about it. And maybe that's exciting. Maybe that's fun a little bit. I think that's enough today for Dulcimer Diary number three. These diary entries are going to be redundant, I think. You know, um, in Kentucky Music Week, this one fellow was saying, hey, I wish you hadn't quit doing the diaries. Well, I didn't quit. I mean, the way I do diaries is, you know, and you, some of you are the same way. You write in it. And then a while later, maybe months later, <laughs> you go and you write in it again. You know, I used to apologize to my diary. I used to somehow personify the diary, you know, when I was very young. I would say, I'm sorry I've been away. I know I haven't been a good, you know, buddy. Anyway, I appreciate this opportunity to share my musical life with y'all. Thanks for paying attention. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you on the next Dulcimer Diary. Adios. Hey there, this is Stephen Seifert. Welcome to Dulcimer Diary entry number four. I just did number three a few minutes ago on a chromatic dulcimer. What was I thinking? So I got my senses back. I'm on a diatonic. Diatonic guilt. I don't know. What do you call? What do you call that emotion? I don't even have a one and a half here, folks. But I do like them. Let's see what can be done on here. And I'm not, I'm not going to do any traditional music right now. I do love that. I can't just do that all the time. Some people would even suggest I can't do it at all. I don't like to go that far. I just like music. I go back and forth, you know. I used to think I was a dulcimer player, and then I started going, no, I'm a musician. You know, and then I started thinking, you know what, I really am a dulcimer player. <laughs> so anyway... Let's see what this spaceship here can do. I'm just gonna do a little morning jazzy stuff. See what can be done when you don't have the O and a half, one and a half, three and a half, four and a half. Here we go. Good morning. <laughs>
That's fun. I mean, I, how, 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 how old am I? I'm 48. I started when I was 16. You know? On this strange instrument. It's a, it's a vehicle. It is a vehicle. It gets you around <laughs> to all kinds of things. And you get to meet all kinds of people. I love it. Uh, in the last entry, I did a little bit of blues on the chromatic. Let's see what blues can be done on a diatonic. I don't think that's only fair. Let me check my tuning here. This COVID thing, you know, I've had it for days and I'm feeling better, but it's like you get, you get tired quick. You know, I, I know it's, it's, uh, it's kind of, it is like the flu a little bit in some regards, but it depends on who you are, man. And, and, you know, people I love keep saying to me, hey, man, it's just like the flu. It's like, yeah, but, you know, Heather lost her mom right at the beginning. We, me, me and my mom lost our relative, Jolene. And there's been a bunch of others. So I'm not saying anything one way or the other, but I am telling you, I don't have a lot of people I remember dying from the flu. <laughs> so I don't. But man, don't you think we have to be a little more humble? I got to admit to you guys, I don't know much about it. But I do feel as a leader in the dulcimer world, sometimes people want you to be sure about things. You know, as a leader, They want you to say you know. But I don't always know the answers. And I'm a little nervous being with people who seem to know all the answers. I'm much more comfortable with folks who can look down at you and say, man, I know, I know, it's hard to know sometimes. That's just, anyway. I just want us all to be healthy and be making music together, you know. I'm not sure how that has to happen, but. I'm glad we're all giving it a shot, doing our best, you know. These are crazy diary entries. Let me play some blues, guys. Hey, I don't think I've got the right perspective all the time. I'm just saying, just letting you know. I'm just glad I'm alive today. All right, lay down a little blues loop. Let's do this blues in E. You know, on the Mountain Dulcimer Diatonic, D is not the greatest key. It can be done, though. Oh, you want me to try it in D. Oh, that's not... Oh, I knew you'd say that. D's not the... Let's see. I'll do it in D. Let's see what happens. Blues in D. No one and a half fret. Sometimes instead of doing a full band, I just do it a little bit. Back to the top. good to be able to 
have been a little It's not too bad. It's not bad. If you do it in E, you get a lot, you get a lot more choices, I think. Even F sharp gives you some cool stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't want to end this one just yet. Bending. You know, that's something we don't do a lot of in dulcimer land. I've been working on it more the last couple of years. It's, um, it's a little tricky. You know, so what, what did I do? I did the uh, dulcimer diary entry number three on a chromatic and then I felt bad because I wasn't on a diatonic. And so this dulcimer entry number four, I'm on a diatonic. But now I'm feeling bad because it's electric. That's <laughs> so funny. And if I do the next one with a with an acoustic, then I gotta feel bad that it's leaned up instead of flat. And then on the next one, I gotta feel bad because I'm not using my thumb a whole lot. You know, the next one ought to be acoustic flat with a lot of thumb. I think I'm in the mood. Stay tuned. Good morning. Welcome to Dulcimer Diary number five. I'm playing a diatonic acoustic dulcimer. No pickup. And I'm playing it flat on my lap. And I'm going to use the thumb fingerings for my left hand. Let's just see what happens here. A little morning makeup here. I started off with thumb playing back around 91 or so. And I was in DAA a lot too. This is in DAD. That's my favorite thing about this fingering. Like you can hold down one, 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 middle ring, pinky. And then that thumb can just dance around. That reminds me of this old hymn. Sorry, I'm coughing. Jeez. Let me take a drink. And this is my father's world.
That's a good one. I do like tilting it up. You know, listen, there's a difference here. Listen to how quiet this thing is. If I tilt it up. You hear that? Listen again. I don't know if you can hear that over the phone, but not only do you get more volume, you get the tone. And I like playing without the thumb sometimes. I actually, most of the time. One of the coolest things about this non-thumb style is uh, all these flipped chords. If you do all flipped shapes, which I think is a little harder to do with thumb style. These are all the same chord shapes that everybody plays. The L, slants, extended slants. But I'm just flipping them all. Where the highest number's on the bass. Like, what does that mean, flip? Well, here's an L chord, 335. Three, if you flip it, you turn it into a 533. Three, three. There's other ways to do that with a thumb, but I just prefer this. Look at this non thumb method. It looks like my hand's not even doing anything. If you take a regular slant, like a 2 3 4, you just flip it to a 4 3 2. An extended slant, like a 4 5 7, flip it to a 7 5 4. And it's tricky because if you put your melody on your melody string, your other two strings are often going higher in fret number. So right now, look, my pinky is taking care of a lot of the melody. Uh, we watched the Titanic last night and cried the whole time. <laughs> um, and they were playing near my God to the earth. It was, it's nice to hear that. I'm using these flipped shapes here. shapes. One reason they sound so smooth, um, well, I'm not going to go into it, but I'll tell you this, on a DAA dulcimer, everybody says the voicings are so nice. Well, these are those note-for-note -note voicings, but I'm in the DAD tuning. So you actually get a DAA chord melody sound, which is pretty cool. But boy, that's enough. Uh, three diary entries in a day. Whew. Hey, if you want to learn how to play dulcimer, I might be able to help you. And if you want to be able to learn how to play it better, I might be able to help you with that too. Please check out Mountain Dulcimer A to Z dot com. Yeah, I think that's it. Hey. Hope you guys are all staying healthy. Go do something beautiful today. Thanks a lot. Bye.